Damn. Oh, he's got him. Oh. Oh. oh, yes. Beautiful. There we nice. go. Nice red throat emperor. He might have his mate. Bring him up here, Jace. Show us what you got, Jim. Swap places, mate. Brother and sister. <laughs> and they just hit so violently. And look, it's such great fun throwing soft plastics up on the on the reef edge because hey, you don't really know what you're going to catch. That's that's probably the the fun part of it. I think um, everything from trout to trevally, red throat, and everything in between lives and hunts around there. And it's a matter of getting that jig head weight right so that you're not getting stuck in the reef, but you still got that fluttering action down and getting in the zone, which is close to the bottom where demersal fish like this are going to be feeding. Yeah, got one there, boys. Guilty. Come on, you good thing. Oh, nice. man, that's a nice stripey. Nice stripey. Look at that. <laughs> he's a bit of a lively character, this boy. There we go. Oh, he's yep, on, he's yep, on. Yep. Big, big fish, fish, fish. Oh, oh, oh. oh go, go, mate. Go, mate. Get these out of the way, bro. Oh. <laughs> oh, go, you good thing. Oh, let's pull in a bit of string. It is a string puller. Little rods everywhere. Go, go, go. go. Oh, oh, get on top of him, get on top of him. What is happening here, <laughs> Jack Speck? <laughs> I, I do believe I have hooked a bit of a bit of a sort of fish here. Oh, mate. look at that. Oh. Grab the net, Brian. Oh. The net, the net, the net. Oh. Gotta get it up above the coral. Go, mate. Go, mate. Oh, he's getting me. Go, mate. Get into him. <laughs> Come on. Go, mate. Oh, oh, bad luck. That was a big fish. The Great Barrier Reef is truly an amazing place, and you can see it out here behind us, and it just goes on forever. And we're using uh, the boat at the moment. So we've got the 5.4 metre boat here with the big 135 HO, and it's look, it's fantastic. And we can get in and around, but you have to be so careful in and around these sh shallow coral areas. We have huge tides here, massive tides. And just behind me here, there's a, a little bit of dry coral over further where the birds are sitting on it. And half an hour ago, it was covered with water, and already it's dropped that far. So, in this boat and this type of fishing we're doing, we're pretty right. But if you're going to come and anchor up and get right in shallow, and just even going for a swim, it's so easy to get high and dry on the coral. So just remember those big tides, get a tide chart, have a look at the tide charts. Remember those big tides are around the full moon and the new moon. So the dark of the moon and the full moon have those really big tides. So, so watch the tides. The other thing you do get is you'll get a lot of water rushing and flowing when that tidal flow is happening and it creates back eddies and all sorts of things. So just be a bit careful when you're in and around. Certainly enjoy the reef, but stay on the safe side. Yep, 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 he's on, he's on. <laughs> Oh, go, mate. Oh. Hey, Jase. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. Mate, so is that a red throat or is it a different species, that one? Well, it's a, has got a very red throat. It has. But it's I part of the uh, sweet leaf family. Yeah, but I think they have that real blood red dorsal fin, the actual red throats. I think it might be called a grassy or something, that one. While you're fishing the coral edge in there, Polarised sunglasses show you where those deeper parts are and where to cast. But once you get out in the deep water, we're back onto the electronics and certainly the depth sounder. It shows you where there's bombies underneath the water here. So you look in there and you can see them, as I said. But out here in the deeper water, there's lots of little coral knobs and bumps and things that hold fish. So we're using the electric motor at the front. Once we drift across one of those out in the deeper water here, we can hit spot lock and the boat will spin around into the breeze and we can cast around it. If you do any good, you can stay there. If not, Turn it off and move on until you find the next one, but it pays to keep an eye on the sounder. Yes! Yep. Go, go, go. Oh. <laughs> oh, come up there, you hard pulling critter, you. <laughs> He's a bit of a lump, that one. Come here, buddy. Oh, got to use some pretty hard pulling tackle to stop these fish so um, we're using I'm using a half ounce jig head at the moment oh, oh. half ounce jig head I'll just get this one out of here and let that fella go beautiful fish so half ounce jig head some 50 pound vanished fluorocarbon leader so a lot heavier leader than you'd use for say 
fishing for snapper with soft plastics. Some 30 pound braid. You can see that coloured braid there. Lots of drag on a 5,000 spin reel. And the secret to it here is this is an 8 to 12 kilo spin rod. So generally if we're fishing, say, snapper soft plastics, it'd be that 5 to 9 kilo. This is 8 to 12. And you've really got to put some hurt on those fish if you want to stop them from doing you in the reef.